Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Now we will learn importance of dietary proteins and common malnutritive condition found in Pakistan that is protein energy malnutrition. The learning outcomes are importance of dietary proteins, main functions of proteins, you will be able to define protein energy malnutrition PEM and you will study its two extreme forms Kavashiorkor and Marasmus. You will be in a position to identify laboratory findings biochemical alterations in protein energy malnutrition and understand treatment main features of treatment and their prognosis. Dietary proteins they come from animal or vegetable sources. Principal animal sources are milk and meat while the principal vegetables are cereals, pulses and nuts. The primary function of proteins in our diet is to build, maintain and repair the body. For energy yielding purpose, the dietary proteins should not be used. And though proteins in diet can provide energy, but main source of energy we should opt for the from the carbohydrate and fats importance of dietary proteins when we take proteins in our diet they have some importance they are the important constituents that is macronutrients and have significant effect on health and well-being. Proteins are sources of organic nitrogen, essential amino acids, also energy, equivalent to carbohydrate, that is four kilocalorie per gram of protein. Dietary proteins, they contribute the physical properties of food taste, color, texture and palatability and during starvation the stored proteins are the main sources of energy. Proteins are also rich sources of vitamins and minerals found in meat, fish and other proteins in diet. The defi deficiency in diet may lead to negative nitrogen balance which is not good for health. There should be a positive nitrogen balance for a healthy diet. The recommended dietary allowance is point, approximately 0.8 gram per kilogram per day and if we calculate for a 70 kilogram adult it may come around 56 gram but generally upper limit is 60 to 80 gram of proteins to avoid any deficiency in the diet. Biological value of dietary proteins. The biological value is a measure of presence of essential amino acids in the proteins. When all the essential amino acids are pre present in that protein particular protein or dietary protein its biological value is 100 and that protein is called first class protein the reference protein is the egg albumin and its biological value is labeled as 100 so all the essential amino acids are present in egg white beef is also of first class protein as compared to egg both are first class proteins 
milk is providing the biological value of milk is 85 lesser than egg and beef while vegetable proteins they have biological value quite low so if first class proteins are taken in the diet it can meet all the essential amino acids required for the body and synthesis of other proteins for the biological function our diet must contain proteins along with the carbohydrates and fats because proteins are also macronutrients they are present in the diet performing some functions not only because of taste palatability color but because they perform various important functions in our body they are most abundant and functionally diverse molecules and virtually every life process depends on them they are fundamentals of cell structure and function having a structural and functional relationship which are very much important a structure is important to perform the function in cell membrane they may act as channels carriers and as pumps all enzymes and cellular receptors are protein in nature enzymes are biological catalysts without them the metabolic pathways cannot be achieved cannot be completed metabolic pathways they provide us energy and other important constituents to be utilized in the body so enzymes almost all the enzymes they are protein in nature plasma proteins for example albumin antibodies and hemoglobin they have their own role performing the functions say for example albumin maintains osmotic pressure or it is also called oncotic pressure colloidal osmotic pressure is called oncotic pressure this oncotic pressure or colloidal osmotic pressure is responsible for holding of water in the vascular compartment in the blood vessels within the blood vessels otherwise the water is leaked and accumulated in the third space or interstitial space causing the edema swelling of feet and other body parts it also carries and transports various components in the blood including drugs bilirubin and other important molecules which are water insoluble they are attached with the albumin to increase the solubility and transport it in the blood plasma some antibodies almost all antibodies they are immunoglobulins and they are protein in nature hemoglobin you know you have been taught this globin part of hemoglobin is a protein in nature without which the hemoglobin cannot be completely formed and perform its function most important function of the carriage of oxygen from lungs to the tissues some hormones insulin and growth hormone they are polypeptides or proteins some proteins they perform protective functions for example keratin and some supportive collagens in extracellular matrix actin and myosin in the muscles they are protein in nature and they perform contractibility in the muscles proteins are digested and absorbed as amino acids which are converted to other nitrogenous substances of great physiological importance for example neurotransmitters creatinine histamine heme purine and pyrimidines of nucleic acids so generally so diverse and enormous functions are performed by proteins that cannot be enlisted here but only some important functions of proteins are enlisted to imply the importance of proteins in our diet and in our body 
malnutrition malnutrition is a condition that results from eating a diet in which one or more nutrients are either not enough or are too much such that the diet causes health problems it may involve calories protein carbohydrate fats vitamins or minerals if insufficient nutrients are taken it may lead to undernutrition if overeating is there it may lead to obesity both extremes they are under the heading of malnutrition protein energy malnutrition or pem synonym is protein calorie malnutrition but nowadays we use this term is defined by who as a pathological condition when dietary proteins and calorie intake they are not up to the mark and they are deficient in our diet mostly occurring in infants and children and commonly associated with infection a slogan is used protein energy malnutrition often starts in the womb and ends in the tongue having very high mortality rate commonly found in developing countries like pakistan india bangladesh africa and arab countries and in pakistan it was declared first national nutritional disorder there are two states in one state calorie intake is less generally seen in starvation causing undernourishment or inanition emaciation leading to marasmus when there is insufficient intake of one or more of essential nutrients especially proteins along with the calories may lead to another type of a shock there is also a third type which is intermediate type where some symptoms of marasmus and kvashor are present these two are the primary causes primarily there could either be calorie intake deficiency or protein deficiency in the diet may lead to marasmus and kvashor core respectively but secondary causes are there for example diseases dietary deficiencies git problems critical illnesses they are the secondary causes which would be taught to you in the subsequent lectures classification of protein energy malnutrition three types of classification are there for the diagnosis of protein energy malnutrition welcome classification waterloo's classification and third is the gomes classification but we will discuss two welcome and waterloo but first you understand the standards there are standard weights for a particular age group there are standard heights for age and weight for height weight for standard weight for particular age standard weight for particular height and standard height for a particular age and accordingly we can say that that infant or person is overweight underweight as per as compared to age or as compared to the height so in welcome classification it is very simple 
and it is based on two criteria weight loss in terms of standard weight for a particular age and presence of or absence of edema if decrease in the weight of a normal standard weight for that particular age group if it is 80 to 60 percent and edema is present you can diagnose he is suffering from Kwashiorkor if edema is not present it is absent that person is labeled that boy is labeled undernourished when weight is 60 percent of standard weight for a particular age or less and edema is present then it could be marasmic or core intermediate type or edema is not present or it is absent it is that condition is marasmus waterloo classification of protein energy malnutrition it is adopted by WHO and we take the two variables standard weight for particular height and standard height for particular age if weight is low as per standard height it is wasting and if height is low as per age group particular age group then it is stenting so here is the chart which may help you for the diagnosis weight for height is normal 100% or it is more than 80% or equal to 80% the nutrition nutritionally status could be normal provided height for particular age is equal or above 90% if weight for height is less than 80% but the height for age is normal or above 90% the nutritional status is of wasted in nature the body is wasted having showing wasting if the weight for height is greater than 80 percent or equal to 80 percent provided height for a is not more than 90 or equal to 90 but rather it is less than 90 percent height for age is less than 90 percent while weight for height is more than or equal to 80 percent that the nutritional status is of stunted that is your question core wasting is there marasmus and stunted growth is there seen in question core and the fourth one is mixed intermediate showing wasting and stunting both let us compare two extreme forms of protein energy malnutrition that is marasmus and kvashiorkor they are prevalent in infants and preschool children in marasmus there is calorie deprivation which is greater than the reduction in proteins and you can say the state of starvation all the macronutrients are deficient providing less calories to the body as required in Kaveshwarkar protein in diet is deprived and this deprivation is relatively greater than the decrease in total calories the comparison or tabulated comparison will help you to understand and learn the two conditions and compare the two conditions marasmus mean waste 
seen in starvation. Calories taken is less while the protein deficiency is not so remarkable. Calorie intake or calorie intake in the diet from the macronutrient is less. In curve, the protein intake is less marked deficiency of protein in diet while calorie deficiency is also there but it is not so marked. Kaveshiorko means sickness of deposed child. That is, it is the disease the child gets when the next baby is born. Generally, weaning we start after six months and supplement of other diet we start after six months along with the mother milk and it mother milk till up to the age of two years we can give and when second child meanwhile is born then the supplement diet or milk is decreased in that child and that child is called deposed or you can call it Kaveshi or core, you can call it has a sickness of weaning. Age group 1 to 5 years of age, while Kaveshi or course is seen in infants less than 1 year of age. Deficiency of calorie in, calories in the diet is more marked, while deficiency of protein in diet is more marked in Kaveshi or core. Clinical features. In marasmus, there is retardation of growth, muscle wasting, the boy is underweight, may have diarrhea, vomiting, causing dehydration, His skin is thin and wrinkled, but edema is not present. While in Kaveshiorkor, core, there is stunted growth, that is, height is compromised as compared to standard age, and edema, particularly on feet and face, is there. Diarrhea, discoloration of hair, skin, anemia, they are the clinical features of Kaveshior core. In marasmus, the infant is very hungry and cries continuously. While in Kaveshior core, the child is less lively and refuses to eat. Abdomen may be shrunken or deflated in marasmus while it is distended due to increased size of the liver and accumulation of the fluid in the abdomen hepatomegaly and ascites. Hematological and biochemical alterations. Anemia is uncommon in marasmus, while anemia is common in Kaveshiorkor core because of marked protein depletion. Serum proteins are almost normal or may be decreased but serum proteins in Kaveshi or core, there is marked serum albumin level and AG ratio, albumin globulin ratio is reversed because of marked decrease in serum albumin. Plasma lipids not much affected while decrease in cholesterol and triacylglycerols or triglycerides in the serum may be observed. Hypoglycemia may or may not be there, while hypoglycemia is found in Kaveshi or core. Electrolytes, no alterations, not much alterations, but in Kaveshi or core, there is a marked potassium depletion, leading to serious complications of heart and skeletal muscles if not treated. Serum enzymes are almost normal, while in Kaveshi or core, serum amylase or alkaline phosphatase activity is decreased, levels are decreased, fatty liver is uncommon 
while fatty liver may be seen. Prognosis is good unless severe complications like dehydration and infections are present and not timely treated. The prognosis of Kaveshi or core is not so good. The mortality is high 10 to 20 percent even the patients or boys or the children are admitted in the hospital and first 48 hours are very critical and usually the deaths seen especially in the parker you must have gone through the newspapers it is within first 48 hours even in admitted patients mortality causes are infections dehydration hypothermia cardiac failure while mortality causes in or core infections electrolyte imbalance hypoglycemia cardiac or liver failure treatment as infection is commonly found start broad spectrum antibiotics to cover bacterial viral infections and antifungal treatment in cases of thrush fungal infection of the mouth which is commonly found can be controlled by antifungal drugs rehydrate removal or treatment of the dehydration by fluids and vitamins in Kaveshi or core correction of potassium is important improve the diet rich in calorie in case of marasmus and in Kaveshi or core gradual increase in diet rich in proteins and calories these are the general important some aspects of the treatment in Kaveshi or core and marasmus but it is not so simple and treatment requires expertise of pediatrician which can accordingly manage the marasmic and Kaveshi or core children and it is very important in case of Kaveshi or core for first 48 hours are critical requiring requiring extensive and appropriate timely treatment rehabilitation gradually increase the diet gradual increase is most important the increase should be incremental in calories or rich diets in calories and protein in case of Kaveshi or incremental slow gradually increase the diet and main aim is to catch up the weight gain when weight gain is there the treatment shows good prognosis here it is there are two representative pictures marasmus prominent bones decrease in subcutaneous fat loose skin shrunken belly and decrease in weight but edema is not there in Kaveshi or core edema is there moon like face protuberant belly protruded belly skin lesions and poor wound healing both the conditions of protein, protein energy malnutrition are preventable and can easily be prevented first requirement is that early diagnosis and correct early treatment both the conditions can be prevented and treated very well if they are diagnosed and treated early other measures are education of mother especially on nutrition promotion of breastfeeding family planning and food fortification 
food is fortified fortified by calories in case of marasmus and fortified with proteins in case of tavashi or kor during weaning what sort of a diet you start that should be rich in calories in case of marasmus and rich in proteins and to some extent in calories or sufficient calories should be given in tavashi or kor thank you email resource books thank you again take care of yourselves